All right, all right. Uh, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makak, Radash. All right, we want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which we will. And we want to give a peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word and our truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, we say shalom to you, brothers, you know. And we say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe and all meekness and humbleness, you know. Uh, we say shalom. Uh, we the brothers from GMS Mommy Camp. I'm your brother Zakaria. Brother Samak. And our Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. You know, Adam uh, Ratazza, you know, that means Lord willing, you know. So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know. And our lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash, is going to be basically on taking care of your body, man, taking care of your temple. All right, the Lord gave us this body. All right, we know, you know, through the Spirit, Lord, and Lord, when we get delivered, we're going to get new bodies. But the Lord gave us this body, to, you know, to take care of it, man, as we wait on our Lord, man. And, and the Lord gave us a dietary law, you know, how to uh, how to live longer, you know, live longer in this, in, uh, in this body, this current body. But, you know, we hasten the coming of our Lord. But it is a, the Lord gave us... The Lord gave us a way to live, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and we're not supposed to defile these temples, so we just gonna roll through the spirit, Lord, is edifying to be led. Come, brother. This is the book of Judges, chapter five, verse eleven. Uh, they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water. Yeah, those that are delivered from the archers in the places of drawing water. The archers represent with those missiles, man. All right, in the place of drawing waters is what here in Babylon the Great represents servitude, man. Mm -hmm. All right, this is what the 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 Israelites, all right, started with the hundred and four the hundred and forty four thousand that that's here and that's scattered. All right, we we're gonna be uh what the scripture gonna talk about rehearsing the righteous acts. You got it, mm -hmm. brother. Con. Uh they so uh Judges chapter five verse eleven, they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the place of drawing waters, mm -hmm. uh there 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 shall they re rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Yeah, so we're rehearsing the righteous acts, you know. We know that we're in captivity, so we can't keep the law 100%. But the laws that we can keep, you know, we keep it to the best of our ability. You know, the high holy days we celebrate, you know, we keep the Sabbath the best of our ability. And the Lord gave us the way to, you know, uh, to heal ourselves, you know, take care of our body. And we do that, we rehearse that the, the, the best of our abilities, man. Mm -hmm. you gotta, um, especially when it comes to consuming food. All right. All right, because food is medicine. Mm -hmm. All right, you know, you got these uh, these Western physicians. They all talk about taking a pill, taking a pill, which is BS because uh, according to our law, statutes, and commandments, our customs. Right. All right, we always went to the herbs. Yep. All right, to for for medicine. Okay. So um, and that's why we look to our forefathers to see what they did. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they were not popping pills. Right. Like you are uh, crazy ass Americans, right? Like aspirins and shit. Yeah, there's a natural aspirin is like a white willow's bark. Mm -hmm. Our people, they go to them pharmaceutical companies, you know, these hospitals, and that that's brings you side effects, man. Mm -hmm. like you got a uh, uh, devil's claw. That's that's all natural uh, painkillers, man. You right, know, right. You got ginger, lemon. Right. You know, uh, turmeric. Turmeric. Come on, mm -hmm. man. Uh, uh, ashwagandha. Mm -hmm. You know, just to name a few. You know, we're probably going to name more as we get in more into this, but yeah. Um, so it says, um, Judges 5 and 11, they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing waters, there they shall they, re they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his village in Israel. Mm -hmm. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Yeah, so we're rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, before we be delivered, man. Mm -hmm. we re we're rehearsing the righteous acts in captivity, man. You know, it's hard. The Lord said, if you get um, Ezekiel 4, mm -hmm. just to make, just to bring that point out, we're going to eat our bread to foul. Gone. You know? that's, that's true. So we, we keep it. We know that uh, we under the curses, and the Lord said we're going to eat our bread to foul, but there's still room right now. To, uh, to to keep these laws the best of our ability, man. The mm -hmm. fam is not here yet. Right. You know? This is the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Uh, for chapter 4, and it should be in 13. 13. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Uh, and the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, mm -hmm. whether I will drive them. Yeah, so we eat our bread defiled among the Gentiles. That's why you got all these different, in the Jake Hoods, y'all got these... Uh, uh, Sonics, Wendy's, McDonald's, and stuff like that. You know these the uh, uh, 
Asian little stores and stuff. That was all defiled food, man. Right. These fast food restaurants and stuff. That's all defiled. As Lord say, we're gonna eat them, eat our bread defiled amongst us. Where we're we're scattered, you know, all throughout the earth. Yeah. Now, now here's the balance, though. Mm -hmm. Now that you know you're an Israelite, do you continue to go to McDonald's? Do you continue to go to Wendy's? Do you all right? No, man. No, you, don't. you go, you go to, uh, you know, to the supermarket, right. and you actually get foods that have nutrients in it. Right. Because McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger Kings, they don't have that. That's the reason why you Jakes have diseases. You're overweight. You have high blood pressure. All right. You have mm -hmm. diabetes. You have these ailments because you're not getting nutrients in your body, man. Right. And as Israelites, we're supposed to eat. All right. The 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 um the herbs. All right. The um the plants, the green leaves, all right? That's what our forefathers did. Yep. All right. Uh look at Daniel. Mm -hmm. All right. He didn't even eat the king's meat. Right. Okay. He he wanted strictly vegetables, man. Mm -hmm. And that and the, our people they have a hard time. And we we could speak of that because right. before we came into this truth, we weren't even dealing with vegetables. Nope. It was always meat, meat, meat. I know for me, I was always either at the pizza man or the China's Chinese man. Right. All right. And I ain't gonna lie, there's sometimes where you know you get that urge you want to you know go after the, the you know the chinese food right, right. all right but you can't do that every fried day rice. the fried rice <laughs> you know you can't do that every day especially yeah. if you have uh, uh if you're overweight or you have certain ailments man okay uh uh and, and even pizza people think pizza is all nah man look at the ingredients pizza's hella uh, uh, um unhealthy to eat right. if you're doing it all the time man it's good once in a blue moon but all the time you're gonna mess yourself up. Carbs and all that cheese and the grease that's on the on mm -hmm. the cheese and the in the, the dough. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, that shit. You can't eat it a lot. You know. Yep. Yep. You know. I was gonna bring out this real quick, huh? Because you because you said to, to make a balance of it. Because mm -hmm. the Lord, we're not uh, we're not supposed to be like these people, man. Yeah. This is the book of um Leviticus chapter twenty and verse twenty four. Uh, Leviticus twenty verse twenty five. Asper. Possible body the parable of Lazarus and the rich man. We did one like a couple weeks ago. That's it, it just popped it. up. It's, popped up. <laughs> it's uh, Leviticus it. 20 and 25. So, like it says, uh -huh. Ye shall therefore put, so like, ye shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean, between unclean fowls and clean. So, there's a, there's the Lord created animals, some animals that's unclean that you can't eat, and there's animals that's clean that you can't eat. Mm -hmm. All right, Lord, Lord Leviticus. It's to the, us, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes, course, and the fathers, all right? These, these laws are for us, man. Mm -hmm. It says, I'll read again, Leviticus 20 and 25, it says, Ye shall therefore put a difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean, and ye shall not make your souls abominable mm. by beasts or by fowl or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground which I have separated from you as unclean. So there's a there's a dietary law. We there's there's like I was, like you know through the spirit I said animals and birds that you can eat and animals and birds that you can't eat, man. Right. You know, birds, yeah, yeah, right. you know you can eat your chicken, you can you know you can eat your uh cow, you can do bison, you can do quail, goat, goat, all right? But then there's a pig. No, you don't eat the pig. Right. All right. Shrimp, clam, yeah. lobsters, yeah. squid. All, you're not supposed to eat that. Alligators. Right? <laughs> if you call yourself a Hebrew, you should know that. And then, and um, further it, you should be okay. Uh, trimming your ways off of meat and sticking more with greens and okay and fruit. Right. All right. Like like uh, for example, me every early morning now, you know. I just go with um, ginger and lemonade, and you know I have put in a blender, and I throw uh, within it, um, you know, a, a green powder. Uh, what's it called? Cucumbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll throw in um, what's it called? Uh, basil, mm -hmm. and then you know drink that. All right, while eating some fruits. Okay, mm -hmm. and that'll be my breakfast. Right. All right. And, you know, and if you want to keep these bodies up, you know, and up to par, so while we, you know. And, and while we endure what's going to happen Because hey If you keep eating fucking pizza and chicken every day And there's a famine that comes in Yo you're gonna feel it bro yep. you're gonna, Your body's gonna be like What the fuck And you got it. You can't eat one or two days man yep. Alright You're gonna have those cravings You're gonna have those cravings <laughs> You're not gonna be able to buy herself Right You're gonna be hungry as hell Right <laughs> But somebody who's been eating greens 
and fruits. They they got all those nutrients. Yeah. They can handle a day or two without eating, man. Mm -hmm. All right? right. That's that's what it is, man. You got to prepare your mind, condition your body and your mind, all right, for when the chicken is not there anymore. The famines. All right? When there's real famines, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. Uh, Leviticus 20 and verse 26 it says, And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy. So you supposed to be holy, separate. It mm -hmm. says, and have severed you from other people that ye shall be mine. And that's, we not supposed to be like these heathens, man. These heathens, they eat everything. Moab eat dogs. All right. You know, Elam, I mean, Ishmael, Elam, they, uh, Ishmael, they don't really eat pork, but they eat shrimp and stuff yeah. like that, man. All right. Ham, they eat whatever. That's all the strip say. Learn not the ways of heathens. We have a we have the way to live unto life, and and not and the Lord gave us a way to live that we uh, eat so that we can live, and the way to, to serve Him so He don't be bad at us. But these other heathens, they don't have a lot. They they like beasts, man. Mm -hmm. you, know? you got it, brother. So do you want me to bring out the wisdom of Solomon? Yeah, Bible Uh Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one, verse four: For unto a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. Yes, for unto a malicious soul, wisdom is not going to enter into you, man. Mm -hmm. All right, that's why you gotta ultimately, you know, have your spirit right. If your your spirit right and you fearing your about your shot, you're not gonna defile your temple. You're not gonna be uh be be in a malicious uh manner, man. Just eating whatever you want, you know. You right, know, right. You know, and that's another thing. Oh, too much eating, man. Mm -hmm. That's not good, man. Right. All right. Too much eating. Okay. You need to have a balance. Yep. All right. Um, nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Yeah, so the Lord can't really dwell with you because you subject to sin. You you constantly devout, defiling your temple. Yep. And the uh, Corinthians. Yeah. Uh, was it First Corinthians chapter three? Uh, yeah. Okay, so let me get that. Three and sixteen. Sixteen and seventeen. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the book of First Corinthians chapter three, uh, verse sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Mm -hmm. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Yeah, so we are the temple of the Most High. The Most High uh, Spirit dwelleth in us, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we Israelites, you know, started with the elect. You got it, brother. 17, if any man defile the temple of the Most High power, Yahweh, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. Yeah, so you defiling a temple, you know, spiritually, physically, the Lord's going to destroy you. Why do you think all our people are in those damn hospitals, man? You know, we work in the hospitals. You know, so we see... These, well, yeah, we see these, uh, Jake all through getting pushed through all the different hallways up in uh, emergency room, up in hospice. Emergency room be full of Jake, man. Yep. <laughs> because Always. the Lord is judging them, man. Yep. Because they, they're eating habits, you know, they, they're worshiping idols. All right. They're not walking in the ways that the Lord told us to, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that was it on there. Con, um, I was gonna, yeah, whatever you had. I was gonna get, um, what's it called? Um, Sirach chapter. 30 verse 15. Come on. Um, I'll get it for you. Come on, come on. This book of Sirach 30 in verse uh, 15. Mm -hmm. It says, Health and good estate of body are above all gold. Mm -hmm. And a strong body above infinite wealth. Right, man. So it's it's better to be healthy, ha uh, be physically fit, all right? Because that's more, that's more precious than gold, silver, money. Cause eventually this money's gonna go, man. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go digital, all right. And and you know a lot of our people, all right. You are you are sickly to begin with, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so when 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 the when there's no foods in the in your city, what the hell are you gonna do? You weren't preparing yourself. You weren't uh, getting physically fit, mm -hmm. all right. You were just sitting around eating a big chicken, watching the sports game, and getting fat and sloppy, man. Uh, the Fifty cent cheeseburger. On the fifty cent cheeseburger. <laughs> Okay, that's why you notice the apostles, the elders on down, they're pushing, eat healthy, all right, get uh, get in shape, right. go on a walk, right. okay, because, hey, your body needs to be maintained when all hell breaks loose, man, all right, because mm -hmm. the Lord going to check your spirit, like, all right, now the store is closed, what you going to do? Some jakes, man, you know, they can't go go without eating for, uh, after four hours, they're hungry again, all right? That's crazy. You got uh, the apostles talking about intermediate fasting. Mm -hmm. I know what I do. You know, at uh, after seven, that's it. I I stop eating, man, right. until the very next morning, mm -hmm. man. Okay. And 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 so, brothers, they got their own uh, right. ways of doing things, but they're conditioning their body and why to keep healthy, keep fit, man. Mm -hmm. They're exercising. All right. Right. All right. They're going on walks. They're working out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because hey, man, 
You don't want to be a liability, bro. Right. Okay? You don't want to be a liability to the brotherhood. All right? You don't want to be a liability to your own self, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. Um, if you get another one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I, I, let me get more on this. Uh, I was going to say go up to 14. Okay. So you want to jump up to 14? Yeah, yeah. Because okay. I wanted to bring it in. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is um, Sirach chapter 30, verse 14. It says, Better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. Right. Okay. And you and you see that, man. Okay. It's better, hey, to um stay in shape. Yeah, you don't have you don't have a lot going for you, all right, you know, in terms of wealth and, and, and assets, but hey, you're in good shape, all right? Because right. these uh you know, a lot of these rich people, man, they eat like slobs, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? They eat meat all the time, yep. all right? They eat unhealthy, and that's why they be dropping dead, catching strokes, right. man. That's what uh, the king's food, like dainty. Yeah. Those, 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 uh, that's why they be having feasts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They they have the wealth, you know? I, the dude, uh, he, he brought it out, uh, I think 19 Keys or, um, what's his name? Bobby Price? They yeah. said that gout come from, that gout, the word gout come from, like, when, uh, when rich, when you go, when rich people have money, they could travel, they could eat different type of foods. Right. So that was like a poor, that was like a rich man disease. Yep. Right. Because they eating all type of foods. Mm -hmm. You know. They're always on meat, 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 different meat. All right. Because in the ancient world, all right, modern man, common men, all right, their their diet was fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. It was actually a delicacy to have meat. Right. All right. To afford meat, meat was expensive, man. Yeah. Just like again, where meat's getting expensive again. Yep. Okay. So you want to, you know, you want to stay in shape. And so, you know, hey, these rich people, they're going to drop dead, man. All, and they, all the shit they work for, they couldn't even keep a fucking uh, help, you know, a healthy diet. Right. You know? Yeah, Jake, through. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm going to read down to verse uh, 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it. Okay, got it. This is uh, Sirach chapter 30 in verse uh, 14, again. Is 14 again. It says, Better is the poor being sound and stronger constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. Mm -hmm. Health and good estate of body are above all gold, and a strong body above infinite wealth. There is no riches above a sound body, and no joy above the joy of a heart. So there's no riches upon a, a sound body. You, a sound body, you can have all the riches, but you be you be paralyzed. You can't even move. You you need somebody like to take you all right, to a wheelchair. You know, you mm -hmm. be bedridden, man. That that's so to have a good body is better than the riches. You any they would trade anybody would trade uh, a good health and any wise man than the they will change their their they'll trade you know a, a sound body than the money. You yep. know that's right. Verse seventeen says death is better than so like death is better than a bitter life or a continual sickness, man. Mm -hmm. So it's better you it's better to just die than to be continually sick all the time, man. All right. So mm -hmm. that that was it on there. Um, I was going to bring out, uh, why you should, uh, go to the herbs, uh, um, for healing. Um, I want to bring out the account, uh, Hezekiah, uh, okay. second Kings, unless he didn't, he had something else. Um, I was going to, let me bring this out right okay, quick. Okay. Going into just on the meats and stuff. Yeah. This is, um, well, about sound sleep. Yeah, this is, um, so no, rock that's important that's important Con. yeah so rock mm -hmm. chapter 31 and verse 20 it says sound sleep cometh of moderate eating so you're gonna have a good sleep the way you like you said when yeah. you, you you like you stop eating at seven so you have a better sleep man yeah you know it says i, I noticed that right, like right. i'm not frustrated you know with that alarm clock i'm getting up all right boom alarm clock turn that shit up let's go like i'm not groggy all right because i stopped eating at a particular time mm -hmm. Also, you know, I haven't been eating meats for a couple of weeks, all right? And that's also been helping, too. To I'm light on my feet, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm, we're not saying don't eat meat, right. but definitely try to, you know, uh, within a cu couple of days, stay away from meat for a couple of days. Yes, you know what I mean? Do it on the weekends, meat on the weekends, you know? But you will see a, a change in how you in how you sleep and how when you wake up, all right? Because that's the thing, that groggy feeling. Then you want to go, I'm still tired, I want to hit the snooze button. First of all, when you eat late, your body's still working, digesting. Mm -hmm. And you get it. Um, and, and doctors say this. All doctors say this. Uh, but I, I remember from Dr. B uh, Bobby Price, he all said right. that. Your body's still digesting, man. 
So it's it's not it's it's not at ease. It's not at rest. It's, it's still working. it's still working while you're sleeping. So that's why you're getting all you feel exhausted. Like why don't I feel good when I sleep? You're supposed to feel good when you sleep a good amount of hours and wake up, man. Mm-hmm. So it has to do with what you're eating. Yeah. All right. So you should cut, uh, you know, at, at an hour seven done eating. All right. And then that's it. if you want to drink water, that's fine. You know, but that's it, man. Okay. Mm-hmm. Until the next day, man. All right, so that you feel good when you wake up, man. So you you can you know go through the day while you right. fucking catching the rest of this hell. Right. Cause the hell's still gonna be here. That's the thing, you know. You still gotta get up. You still gotta go to work. You still gotta pay the bills. Mm-hmm. All right, that's we're subject to payments. Right. So why not have a healthier uh, a body to go through that hell than okay feeling all groggy? Yeah, you uh, done. Yeah. Done. And then <laughs> and then that lazy spare yeah, jump, on you, jump on you, snooze button, and then yeah. you get laid off. And then you get, hey, why are you coming to work late? All right? Because you were eating fucked up. All right? right? Eat healthy, then you'll be on time for work. Right. You, you know? know? Jake, they eat. They eat late. And then they wake up to break break the fast. Break yeah. their fast. Break, right. Like breakfast. Breakfast be break fast. Mm-hmm. And they eat heavier breakfast. Like, they be through, man. Yeah, they so, you know, Jake has to really wake up, man. The Western diet is trash, man. It's garbage. All right, stay away from breads in the morning. I don't even eat bread anymore, man. I stopped that shit because of the amount of sugar that's in bread. Mm -hmm. Okay, carbs, the carbs, man. You know, if you're gonna go with bread, do flat bread, you know, if that. But you know, I haven't even touched bread for weeks, man. Like like wraps, yeah, man. But yeah, I'll finish this. Uh, Mm -hmm. Sirach chapter 31, verse 20 says, Sound sleep cometh of moderate eating. So it's all about eating moderate, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it says, He rises early. And his wits are with him. Mm. So you guys and your mind is clear, man. That's your heavy. Read clear. that yeah. again. That's heavy. This is uh, Sirach 31 and 20 says, Sound sleep cometh of moderate eating. He rises early and his wits are with him, man. Right. He's his he's he has a, he's cognate. You know, he has a clear mind. You feel me? Yeah, man, bro, I'm up. Uh, this is for testament, I'm up, boom. Right. Going in, chopping it up, you know, with the knife. Dee, dee, dee. You know, I'm not fucking cutting my hand. I'm focused. Duh, 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 duh. Right. Boom. Okay. Um, what's it called? Drink my thing. Boom. I'm on the on the high I-95 fighting right. through, you know, all these fucking cars. Boom. Going to work. I'm ready. Bam. Reading the emails. I'm focused. I'm moving. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't feel lethargic. I don't feel you know, I'm I'm uh, what's it I'm basically uh, uh locked in, locked man. In. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what happens when you eat better. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yep. Eat your, eat your herbs, your garlic and stuff. Yep. Oh, that's another thing. Mm-hmm. Every morning, if I'm not morning and afternoon, I have a garlic, raw garlic once a day, man. Mm-hmm. And I recommend, brothers, you do the same, man. That bitter garlic, it helps. It does, uh, man. Yep. Yeah, it, is, it profited you, man. It says, uh, sound sleep coming to moderate eating. He rises early and his wits are with him. But the pain of watching and colder and pains of the belly are with an unsta- uh, unsatiable man. So you have pains of your belly. That means you like you basically eating too much, man. Mm-hmm. It says 30, uh, Sirach 31 and 21 says, And if thou has been forced to eat, arise, go forth, vomit, and thou shalt have rest. So if you eating too much, you know, some people they have like their stomach be hurting and shit like that. You don't feel good. You throw that shit up, man. Yep. You clear your body out. And then you then you feel better, man. Right. You know? That's that was what, it on there. That's why another thing, you need to go on a fast, man. Mm-hmm. All right, fasting is good, man. You need to do fast, not just Day of Atonement, man. You need to have fasting as, okay, uh, more than one time out of the year, all right, mm-hmm. just to clean yourself out, man. Especially all you do, if uh, especially if you're just eating meat all the time, right? The shit is crazy. I mean, it's parasites. Your body, mm-hmm. your body's a, uh, like a machine. You gotta do maintenance on that. You feel me? Yep. You got it, brother. All right, so I'm gonna get off an account. Of the herbs healing because not only you know it's good to eat healthy but these herbs are good for as medicine man you know they help you know yeah um so I got uh so first Kings uh chapter twenty uh this is when King Hezekiah all right had a boil all right and um yeah right that's what it is first uh no second Kings chapter twenty Salakia. Second Kings, all right, I have it right here. Chapter 20, and it reads, In those days was Hezekiah a uh, sick unto death. And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. 
So that right there put Hezekiah in fear. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, hey, sometimes you got to tell a brother, bro, you're eating all fucked up, man. Yeah. All right? You're going to die. You know, you're overweight. All right? You, you know, you, you're you not getting good sleep. I can see it in your eyes. Sometimes you got to tell a brother that, bro. Yeah. You don't eat healthy. You're going to die, man. Yeah, open Scripture say open rebuke. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Mm -hmm. um, two, then he turned his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord. Right. So, and also prayer, brothers. Oh, that's the most the important, important thing. thing. Right. Saying, three, I have beseeched thee, O Lord. Remember now how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah uh, wept sore. For, and it came to pass of four, uh, Isaiah was gone out into the middle court that the word of the Lord came to him saying five turn again and tell Hezekiah the captain of my people thus saith the Lord the God of David thy father I have heard thy prayer I have seen thy tears behold I will heal thee on the third day thou shalt go up into the house of the Lord right that's another thing prayer sincere prayer all right if you have health complications all right um you know, you need to pray to the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. So you get you get better. You know what I'm saying? Yep. All right. But you also got to be doing something, you know, because prayer is part of it. There's also another part. Yep. Uh, six. And I will add unto thy days 15 years, and I will deliver thee in this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. Seven. And Isaiah said, take a lump of figs, and they took and laid it on the boil, and he recovered, right? Because that boil was, was causing that disease, all right, which was going to make him to die, all right? So um, Isaiah was like, yo, get this lump of figs, all right? Turn it into like an, an ointment, an oil, because mm -hmm. I, I guarantee they didn't stand throw a lump of figs that they pulled from the tree and just threw it on his body. Right. No, they turned into an oil. And they, as a, as a, uh, there's a, there's a technical term, a topical, you know? And then that would begin the healing. All right, so that's why you got to get into the herbs, man. Yep. Okay, so that your body, you can heal yourself. Yep. Okay, because that's what our forefathers did. All right, but they, but of course, it all started with prayer, acknowledging your offenses, all right, and changing, man. Yep. All right, so if you brothers are overweight, you do have diseases, okay, you are uh, 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 ill, it's time to change your diet, brothers. All right, and, uh, and of course, pray too to the Lord. To uh to build you up to change your ways, man. Cause it is hard, you know. Jake been living off of chicken and and, and fried chicken all day life and beans and beans. <laughs> it's hard, but guess what? You know, coming to the truth, you should be able to change. You changed, all right. Not worshiping, uh, you know, plantation Christianity. You changed not eating pork, right? Mm -hmm. You should be able to change about you know cutting back on the chicken, all right. Or don't even go near the fried chicken. Baked chicken's way better, all right? But it, but the point is, all right, prayer and using the 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 herbs to heal, man. Yep. All right, and and that's how you heal yourself and get better in your health. Cause uh, I'm gonna get uh, since you were saying that, I was thinking about counts in the Bible. I'm gonna bring these out right quick. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Tobit chapter eleven, and verse um Tobit chapter eleven, and verse I started verse one. It says after these things, Tobias went his way praising the Most High that he had given him a prosperous journey and blessed uh, Ragul, uh, Ragul and Edna, his wife, and went on his way till they drew near unto Nineveh. And Raphael said to Tobias, Thou knowest, brother, how thou didst leave thy father. Uh, verse 3 says, Let us haste before thy wife and prepare the house and take in thine hand a gall of a fish so that so, so they went their way and the dog went after them. So uh, Raphael is the angel. He was talking to Tobias. He says, verse 5, it says, Now Anna sat looking about toward the, the way for her son. Verse uh, 6, it says, And when she is she espoused, espied him coming, that she saw him coming, she said to his father, Behold, thy son cometh. And the men that went with him, verse 7, says, Then said Raphael, I know, Tobias, that thy father will open his eyes. Therefore, anoint his eyes with the gall, and being pricked therewith, he shall rub, and the whiteness shall fall away, and he shall see thee. Mm. 
you know. So he put a uh, basically like a gall. He used a fish, you know, whatever was in the fish, fish gall, like fish pee or, or shit like that. He put it on his eyes, and the, the mm-hmm. whiteness came down. That's right. All right, and he could see again. That's right. You know, it said fish gall, right? You're right. Yeah. Fish gall. Uh... It says he says therefore anoint his eyes with the gall. He mm-hmm. said, "With the with the the, the sorry, he said, and take in thy hand the gall of the fish, mm-hmm. the gall of the fish, yeah, yeah the gallbladder, yeah, the gallbladder. There it is. The hollow eyes of blind Tobit are anointed with fish gall. Mm. Okay, there it is, man. Yep, you know the gallbladder. And they knew All the right? herbs. So hey, they knew to go, man. They knew what to use. Yep, I got another one with uh, Moses. This is um, Exodus fifteen. In verse 22, it says, So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. This one was leaving uh, Egypt. And they went out into the wilderness of Shur, of Shur. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. Verse 23 it says, And when they came to Moriah, Marah, they could not drink of the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Mm-hmm. Therefore, the name of it is called Marah. Verse 24, because the water was bitter. It says, And the people murmured against Moses, saying, what shall we drink? And he cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. And there he made them a statue and an ordinance, and proved, sorry, and there he proved them. So the Lord made him put a piece of wood in the water to, to uh, cleanse it, to purify it, man. Mm-hmm. There you <laughs> Those go. are herbs, dude, man. Like um, to alkaline your water, because these waters are, like suck, you know, uh, these waters, you know. So to alkaline, you put like lemon juice in there. Yep. You know, some people put like apple cider vinegar to, yeah, to yeah. alkaline it, man. Right. You that's know? right. That's right. That's how you got to know these things, man. Mm-hmm. That was it on there. That's right. That's right. Um, I think that's it. I that mean, on yours? Um, all right. Get up. Sirach 29. I mean, 39. The physician. Con, he con. said that the Lord has the medicines. Yeah, yeah. So you have physicians, right? And and at, and if you call yourself well, a thirty eight, so I get right. And and if you call yourself a prophet, you should know the basics of herbs to heal. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Sirach, also known as the Book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter thirty eight, verse one: Honor a physician with the honor due unto him for uses which ye may have of him, for the Lord hath created him. Yeah, so the Lord created men uh, that that's physician. Mm-hmm. Like in the scriptures talk about um, the gifts of healing. Like some brothers, they they good in the herbs. Like that's what we are body. Some brothers good in prophecy. Some brothers in the history. Some good brothers are good in, into the herbs, man. Mm-hmm. You got it, brother. Um, two for the Most High cometh healing, and he shall receive honor of the King. Yeah, because it's ultimately of the Lord putting the Spirit on him to make these things to to uh to heal that person. You mm-hmm. got it, brother. Three, the skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be in admiration. Mm-hmm. Right, and that's how you know Esau is so wicked because you know. Uh, he uh, manipulated the minds of a lot of these physicians, all right, to go into this Western type medicine with the pills, all right, and people are not questioning a physician because oh, he went to school, he went to right. college, and you know, university, he, he did all these degrees, all right, um, but yet he's giving his patients uh, poison, right. all right, and but the physician is supposed to be honored for healing, because you know, a right physician, a physician that goes into the herbs. All right, the physician that knows, okay, the medicines of the earth, you know. Yeah, these these people, those doctors and shit, they don't know nothing, man. No, I was like, they had like this party at my job today, like they celebrate the birthday, so they give like a big party, had like cakes and all that bullshit. And a dietitian, she goes, "You want some of this?" I was like, "There's no nutrients in that." She's like, "Yeah, you're right." Right. <laughs> Why would you offer me this food if you know there wasn't no fucking nutrition in there, man? Yep. <laughs> she started laughing like, "Bro, I, I ain't no fucking dummy, man." Yep. The big ass cup, uh, chocolate cakes and yep. shit. You got yeah, <laughs> man, full of sugar. That's why these people got diabetes, man. Yeah. That's why you know they don't. And 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 these are the, the fuck these um. Physicians are the ones telling the people yeah. to eat this crap. Yeah, she's a dietitian. She like writes out what they what type of meal they have. You know whether they eat like uh like parade like soft like mushy foods or uh, mint stuff like that. She's the one who who does that, man. She's just like they'll just give these people whatever, man. Right. You got it, brother. Uh, four. The Lord hath created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. Yeah. So you read the Lord created medicines out of earth. He um. Uh, Psalms 104. Oh, yeah. The, the diseases. Heal the diseases. Yeah. That's another good one. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, like a good uh, one is uh, black seed oil. Yep. Oh, man. All right. I recommend, if you don't know anything about it, look into it. Black seed oil. That that thing cures everything. All right. You, especially consuming on an empty stomach. Mm-hmm. You'll feel way better. And you're going to see a major change. But again, this doesn't happen overnight. It right. takes a process. You got to stick to it. All right. Remember, you if you've been eating crap for decades and decades, all right, Getting heels is not going to change overnight, mm-hmm. but you got to start somewhere, all right? You, and you need to be on top of it, you know? Right. I just want to throw that out there, too. Um, Psalm uh, chapter 103, uh, verse, I'll start at 1. Okay. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless is his holy name. Two, and, that, and you need to know the name, Yahabashi Shai, because when you take these herbs, you need to pray to the, to the Lord to mm-hmm. use these herbs to heal you. Right. You know? Scripture say that. Uh, two, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Three, who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Yeah, so the Lord, the ultimate, to uh, heal your d- diseases. But I was going to bring this one out. Mm-hmm. That was a good one, too. This is a Psalms 104 and verse uh, 14. It says, he causes the grass to grow for the cattle and herb for the service of men that he may bring forth food out of the earth. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a good one, yep. You know, so that's what the food, you know. Whole food. We supposed to be eating like whole food, whole yeah. oranges, whole apples, whole bananas. But eat. But you know, this place is uh, defiled because of Esau's ruin. So you got seedless watermelon, seedless grapes. Yep. You know, so you gotta like brothers always say you gotta go to farmers markets and shit. See, can you find the best of the worst, man? That's right. That's right. You know? Yeah, you want to get watermelon with seeds in it, oranges with seeds in it, and eat those seeds, brothers. Yeah. Eat them. No, they're not gonna grow. A plant, you know, that was an old wives' tale fable. Oh, you know, if you eat the seeds, it's gonna grow inside you. Right, well, bro. Told me that. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> it's all bullshit, man. Eat them seeds. In fact, I'll tell you this: for lunch, you know, all I eat is a whole orange. Mm-hmm. I chop it up. I eat everything, skin and all, and it fills you up. I recommend. You right. know. God, let's get a Isaiah. We can end off on Isaiah sixty-six and verse fifteen. Mm-hmm. You know, because our 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 the our forefathers they. Throughout the script, they showed us the way, man. Yeah. Ezra's was, the Lord told Ezra's to live in the field, only eat flowers. Mm-hmm. He did that. Um, the Maccabees, when they was uh, had to run away, they was in the field, you know, eating all herbs. So our people, we we, we know that history, but uh, our people are rebellious. They would just, they want everything fast, man. Yep. You know, they don't want to wait. That's you got right. Uh, Isaiah chapter 66, starting at 15. Mm-hmm. For behold, the Lord will come a fire. And with his chariot like the like a whirlwind. Yeah, so this is our Lord Yahweh shot. This is how he's coming back. He's coming back uh, angry, man. He come back with a huge chariot to destroy the armies of the world. He's coming back with Michael the Archangel and the Holy Host, man. All right, he come back with fire. You got it, brother. To render his anger with fury mm-hmm. and his rebuke with flames of fire. Yep. 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Yep. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the slain of the Lord is going to be many, man. My Lord gonna kill a lot of people. You got it, brother. Seventeen. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the mist. Yep. Eating swine's flesh. Yeah, those who be in the uh, 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 those church houses, modern day. Uh, what, what was it said? What did it say? Um, the groves. The uh, it says gardens. The gardens, yo. They because our people they worship in gardens and groves, but mm-hmm. now that now the modern day groves and is those churches, man, eating swine flesh, man. These these are uh, things stealing. All these different holidays, they have these feasts, eating all these abominations. Right. You got you got particular plantation Christians that go to church, and they're going to go next month and participate in Halloween and yep. eat all, the, all that candy, all those diabetes candy. They're going to church. Yep. Mm-hmm. For the kids. Right. That's why you're going to get hit with fire. For the kids. Right, because they think the law is done away with. Yeah. Acts State, or what? Acts State, I believe. Yep. They believe the law is done away with. You got it, brother. Behind one tree in the mist... That was where the groves behind one tree in the midst. Okay, con, con, eating uh, swine's flesh and the abomination. The mouth shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. Yeah, so you eating all these abominable food, you gonna be consumed by that fire, man. All right, you gonna be consumed by that fire. That's why you gotta fear the Lord and you'll come back, man. Like we, we like like apostle. He did a video on like those migrants, how they was coming up north, how they try to come up here. They don't really got food like that, man. But we here, we can. Go to different stores and, and find food and stuff like that, man. Mm-hmm. Our people, you know, they just eat whatever they want to eat, man. Yep. 
this ain't even bad out here, and they eating whatever they want, man. That's right, man. That's why they're going to eat each other, man. Yeah, they lack <laughs> discipline, man. Right. And they, this, it's basically rebellious, man. You know, mm-hmm. and it, it, if you, it, the scriptures say, you know, there's an, not the scriptures, there's an old saying, you are what you eat. Mm-hmm. You're right. You, you're telling yourself who you are by the things that you eat, you know. Um, Eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. Mm-hmm. 18, for I know their works and their thoughts. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues and they shall come and see my glory. Mm-hmm. So obviously, the, you know, the Lord's going to judge. All right, a lot of people just on just off the diet, man. Yep. But we know like main the main thing the Lord wants us to get get our spirit right. But your mind, you know, uh, the way you think is how you gonna treat your body. You say he that's evil to himself, to whom shall he be good to? Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If you're not good to yourself, how are you gonna be good to another brother? That's you know right. I mean? That's right. That's right. <laughs> so that was that was it, bro. So yeah, low wellness that's edifying. You know, again, you know, take care of your body, take care of your health. All right, get into the herbs. All right, um, when you take those herbs, pray. Hey, yep. Okay, and and brothers, man, you know you could stop eating chicken for a couple of days, bro. You know, get with the greens, get with the fruits, man. All right, H- hamburger, you know, rice and chicken every day. You know, it's not good, man. Right. It's too many carbs. It's a lot of sugar, man. All right, so uh, yeah, challenge yourself. Yeah, you challenge know? yourself. Yeah. So with that, we want to give all praise and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone right. who rule well and taught us this truth. They are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. And citation to the Akim out there, pushing this truth to sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and risking their life for, for Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai's sake. Love you, brothers. Keep the door. Keep the faith. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Keep studying. Pray without season. Pray for each other. Pray That's for right. the apostles and elders. Uh, for the fuses that are watching, keep studying. When you pray, pray with your head covered. Shalom. Hey, shalom. And a bottom ball. Bottom ball. Shalom. Shalom.